Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that given the graph of the function y is equal to f of x where f of x is equal to square root of 4 minus x square and this is the graph of the function f of x is equal to square root of 4 minus x square. Sketch the graph of the function given by y is equal to 2 into f of x and y is equal to f of 1 by 2 into x. We know that the vertical stretch or compression is given by y is equal to k times f of x if k is greater than 1, it moves points of y is equal to f of x further away from the x-axis. It is called vertical stretch by factor k. If 0 is less than k, it's less than 1, then it moves points of y is equal to f of x closer to the x-axis. It is called vertical compression by factor k. Here on coordinate plane, the point with coordinates x, y is changed to the point with coordinates x, k into y, that is x, k, y. Similarly, the horizontal stretch or compression is given by y is equal to f of k into x, that is f of k, x. If k is greater than 1, it moves points of y is equal to f of x closer to the y-axis. This is called as horizontal compression by factor 1 upon k. If 0 is less than k is less than 1, it moves points of y is equal to f of x further away from the y-axis. This is called as horizontal stretch by factor 1 upon k. On coordinate plane, the point with coordinates x, y is changed to the point with coordinates 1 by k, x, y. With this key idea, let us proceed to the solution. We are given a function y is equal to f of x where f of x is equal to square root of 4 minus x square the whole. We are given its graph and we have to draw graph of the function y is equal to 2 into f of x and y is equal to f of 1 by 2x. If we see the graph of the function f of x is equal to square root of 4 minus x square the whole, we see that its curve is a semicircle. Now first we sketch graph of the function y is equal to 2 times f of x or this can be written as y is equal to 2 into square root of 4 minus x square the whole. Now see, it is of form y is equal to k into f of x. Now from the key idea we know that it is a vertical stretch where k is equal to 2 which is greater than 1. Now see the points with coordinates minus 2, 0, 2, 0 
and 0 2 lie on this curve, we know that in vertical stretch the point with coordinates x y is transformed to the point with coordinates x k y. So here the point with coordinates minus 2 0 is transformed to the point with coordinates minus 2 k y that is 2 into 0 which is 0. So we have the coordinates minus 2 0. Similarly the point with coordinates 2 0 is transformed to the point with coordinates 2 2 into 0 that is 0. So we have the coordinates 2 0 and the point with coordinates 0 2 is transformed to the points with coordinates 0 2 into 2 that is 4. So we have the coordinates 0 4. Here we should note that we have taken the value of k as 2. Now let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. Here are the three points with coordinates minus 2 0, 0 4 and 2 0. Now we join these points in the same shape. Now here is the required curve of the function f of x is equal to twice of f of x which is equal to 2 into square root of 4 minus x square the whole. Now we draw graph of the function given by y is equal to f of 1 by 2x. So here we replace x by 1 by 2 into x in this given function and we get y is equal to square root of 4 minus 1 by 2 into x whole square the whole which implies that y is equal to square root of 4 minus x square by 4 the whole. Now the function f of 1 by 2 x is of the form y is equal to f of k x where k is equal to 1 by 2 and the value of k that is 1 by 2 lies between 0 and 1. From the key idea we know that the function given by the equation y is equal to f of kx gives the horizontal stretch f 0 is less than k is less than 1. It represents horizontal stretch by factor 1 upon k. So, it is a horizontal stretch by factor 1 upon k that is equal to 1 upon 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 and on coordinate plane the point with coordinates x, y is transformed to the point with coordinates 1 by k into x, y. Here, we have k is equal to 1 upon 2. So, the point with coordinates x, y is transformed to the point with coordinates 1 by k into x, that is, 1 upon 1 by 2 into x which is equal to 2x y. So the point with coordinates x y is transformed to the point with coordinates 2x y. Again if we see the graph of the function square root of 4 minus x square the whole we see that the points with coordinates minus 2 0, 0 2 and 2 0 lie on this curve. So, the point with coordinates minus 2 0 is transformed to the point with coordinates 2 x that is 2 into minus 2 which is minus 4 0. So, we have the coordinates minus 4 0. 
Again, the point with coordinates 2, 0 is transformed to the point with coordinates 2 into 2 is 4, 0. So, we have the coordinates 4, 0 and the point with coordinates 0, 2 is transformed to the points with coordinates. Now, 0 into 2 is 0 and 2. So, we have the coordinates 0, 2. Now, we plot these points on the coordinate plane. Here are the points with coordinates minus 4, 0, 0, 2 and 4, 0. Now, we join these points. Here we get this blue curve which represents the graph of the function given by the equation y is equal to f of 1 by 2x or it is also given by the equation y is equal to square root of 4 minus 1 by 4 into x square the whole. It represents the horizontal stretch by factor 1 upon k where k is equal to 1 by 2. So, stretch by factor 2. This is the required graph. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.